How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Getting Zoom with Emma. And today we're opening up another game that we backed on Kickstarter, or at least I late backed. I got it on GameFound. Uh, and that is Project L by Board Cubator. Board Cubator is what it is. Uh, this is the regular box and the expansions. There is, I guess, a big box which comes with inserts. This is not it. Um, I don't even think that was an option, so I'm not sure how you get the big box. So he knows, let me know down in the comments. Uh, we're still going to try to go ahead and we're going to get this unboxed, show what the components come in each of the expansions plus the main box, and we will try to rebox it back in this insert. I've been told to take the insert out and just throw it in from what I've read on the Board Game Geek forums. That said, let's go ahead and get the camera switched over and we will start unboxing. There we go. So here we go. So this is the core box. I guess we'll start with that. We'll do the expansions and then we'll try to figure out how to get it all back in here again. Uh, one thing I will say, and this is, it's the nature of these, I guess, types of boxes is this. And I think the same thing, I think it was Radlands. Same thing as any oils on your hand <laughs> seem to get all over these boxes, but there we go. There is a big L, uh, shiny L too. I didn't even notice it was kind of glossy. Uh, we have, of course, not played this. I didn't do a quick unboxing, but I am doing some short unboxings uh, as soon as games come in, especially if there's not a lot of components for me to have to go over. But for this one, because it was a full Kickstarter, I decided we'll do a full unboxing. Um, are you going to let me even open you? Come on. Doesn't want to let me open it. Uh, so if you guys want to see short unboxings, of course, let us know down in the comments. If you want to see a short unboxing as a detailed unboxing, make sure you leave a comment on that short unboxing and say, hey, I'd like to actually see these components instead of having it blaze through in one minute. Uh, so here we go, here are the uh, player mats. So, okay, so player mats, uh, first player, and then all the other players. So that way, okay, so the first player marker is here. Uh, gives you your overview, uh, your puzzle, puzzle, puzzle one, puzzle two, puzzle three, puzzle four, uh, and victory point pile. And this is your supply of pieces go here. And then you got upgrades and your ghost piece. Okay, so it's got the ghost pieces because we have that, the finesse. So it's got everything. Okay. This is a plain white piece of paper that we no longer need. I guess it was there for storage. Now we did do, this has been unboxed, so some of the stuff may not be exactly where it was. And that's because we did do a big unboxing with a whole bunch of board games that we had gotten while we were in Colombia. And we came back to a whole bunch of goodies. We decided to do that as a live unboxing. Um, if you guys want to see that kind of thing instead of these individual ones, well, I guess let us know down in the comments if you want to see that more often as well. Uh, so this goes over your sets. It's kind of a, just a player aid, set C, set C with the Finesse Ambassador Pack, which I don't know how you become an ambassador, but that wasn't something you could add one in Game Pound. So I don't think we have the Ambassador Pack. Uh, the rule book and another one of those white sheets. Uh, rule book. Uh, it's all black. That's just, it's so, so different uh, to see a rule book in black. So the base game, gameplay, a lot of small font. Now there is a QR code there for variants, uh, solo variant, line clear variant for five to six player games. Okay. So that's kind of like Tetris. All right, and then they do have the finesse expansion in here. And then the finesse solo. Uh, thank you to all of our backers. Okay, so it's got all the backers in here. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let Oddity do, well, no, we probably won't be in here. Late, late pledgers probably aren't in here. Although I could, I could have Oddity go through here and try to do it. I don't know if they did alphabetical order. Uh, Chinese is at the end. Looks like it might be alphabetical order. All right, well. That's a puzzle for another day, uh, but I did not see the ghost rules in here. Okay, there's the ghost piece. I just I just flipped over it. It was on the other side of the line clear, so ghost. Okay, so all of the current expansions are in that book, which is nice, except for, of course, when a brand new version comes out, because then, or new expansion, because then you're missing those. Yeah. So more cardboard, uh, nice little foamy inserts. That way, if you don't have the expansions, so here are your puzzles. So these are fives, fours, four, three, 
and three. And there's another one of those cardboard things. Lots of cardboard things. Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys here, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I don't think everything's gonna fit. Uh, I read on Board Game Geek that you pretty much have to just ditch the insert to get everything to fit in here. We will see. We will see. Okay, so here is our three. Didn't I already have threes? Yeah, three was over here. That might have been a mess up from the other day. Okay. Uh, so here's your ones. Okay, so these just need a single piece for your ones. And then two. It's two piece. Twos. No, those are zeros. Okay, because these are ones. Ones. Again, we I've never played, so I don't I don't know what this all means. And I've been trying to read the rules ahead of time, but this was the last minute that I decided to open this today instead of something else. And it's just because I wanted to get all the couple of the Kickstarters done all at one time. Um, so that's all those. And there were some more blank ones there in the end. Okay. And then the bag. Ooh, it's another one of the nice bags. You like nice, nice felt stitched bags. Uh, why? Because they grab Casper hair just like that. That's why we would like it. You know, what's better than having your animalis hair all over thing? Now, we're probably going to put the component, the chips in there because I don't see any reason to keep all of these plastic baggies in the box. We will just, as we take them out, so okay, so we've got the red squares. Let's get a feel for these. Again, I, we've already opened it, but like I. <laughs> I've been trying to remember how things feel to be like, but yeah, nice, nice chinkity chinkity chinkity, like like clickety clickety sounds. It's probably very annoying on the microphone, uh, but these are your red pieces. Green, green pieces. Rosa, or pink to our English speaking audience. Although I'm acting like I speak Spanish. I know enough Spanish to not be able to speak it. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying hard. It's just so hard. My brain is very analytical. And I'm doing more analyzing than I would say understanding. So here are the dark blue long pieces. So yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know what, what it will take, what it'll be. Avadi knows what it what it'll take, and she she she's uh, threatened me with it a couple times, and that's just to never speak to me in English again. Um, so, we if you guys were on a live stream, and everything being said by Avadi is in Spanish. You know what happened? Is that was the final straw, and she decided everything's going to be spoken in Spanish until I until I can uh, understand everything she said. She saw a TikTok or a Facebook video where I guess a couple, that's what happened is the, the wife, they've been together for not, not like us, you know, you know, we've, we've been together for 2018, four years, right? Uh, they've been together. I think it was like 13, 14 years. Cause they've known each other since high school. And he's still like, I think she was saying that I kind of understood everything she was saying, meaning I understood better than <laughs> he did in the video. Uh, but that, that is a that is a threat that has been offered to me. Of course, if we have kids, she'll be speaking to the kids in Spanish, meaning that if they learn Spanish first, I will have no way to uh, habla mi niños. Hable con mi niños. All right, and then here is the last one from the base set. And I think this is why they say basically uh, get rid of the bags or get rid of the insert is because I think what I was reading one guy, he says he just, he puts all, all of them in. So he puts the finesse bits, he puts everything in there. So that was the last of those bits for the core box. We'll just slide that up, get all these bags over there somewhere. Right, so we'll do the ghost piece expansion, uh, which are a bunch of, they're a bunch of black pieces. I didn't notice, were the back of these black and white? Yes, they were. Right, so these were all the black. We'll use the white. Yeah, those are all the white. Okay. All right. So I guess we will start with the white. And yeah, I can tell you this one expansion alone is going to overwhelm that box. 
So yeah, I think the insert is going to have to go. Some of the black one. So here are the ghost pieces. So there's, I don't know if you can even catch it. There you go. If I catch it, if I catch the light just right, you can see there's little pip dots on the uh, black part. Uh, I don't know what those do. I think somebody in our live chat told me what those do, but I cannot remember what they are. These are the ghost pieces that you need to get. Um, I don't remember what the arrow does. Um, but yeah, I would almost guarantee, let me see, I'm going to try this, right? Whoops. I got these little things in the main box. Little score, score gem things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I would almost say this is probably going to fill this up completely. But I would imagine this box was designed with just... Yeah, so that, that won't even fit. That's that's already too much. Put them over here, kind of. Not really. I mean, it says you can stack them, like, down. Yeah, I I, I think I think we're losing the insert, guys. I do think we're losing the insert. And I'm, I'm not one against it. I mean, I, I understand if there's a well-designed insert, keep it all in there. But considering this was all a reprint and made specifically with both of these games, it is kind of disappointing that that particular insert, which was made during the same production cycle, cannot fit everything. So these are somehow not in numeric order. Ooh, that looks troubling. It's got two up arrows. That's got a blue, so I guess you have to have one of those in there. No. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, that's... See, this is definitely not going to fit. Let's see. That's like four tiles too many. Six tiles too many. And as I said, they don't... They don't really fit in this side either. Like, it's not... Like, they're designed differently. So this has got a little bit extra room. Not going to happen. All right. So we'll put that up there. So we have the ghost bits. Now, see, here's my only problem. Is that I put all the ghost bits in that bag, then we need to play as the each of the expansions for you guys on the channel it makes it hard because they're already gonna all be in there. I mean, in the end, you probably leave them all in there for every once you have all the expansions, you can probably play with all of them. These are a bunch of big L's. So what I'm gonna do for now is stick the ghost pieces in here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's not, I think that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I already started doing. And these are, okay, so these are like D's or B's. I don't know what you want to have them be. Same, same quality, same, same chickity chickity, um, clanking noise, <laughs> plastic bits. I guess they're acrylic, is really what these are. We're going to have a lot of extra baggies, though, for other board games. Let me know down below if you have a baggy drawer. You have a board game baggy drawer in your house. That means you have way too many board games. That's what that means. All right. So we will. Oh, there's no hole in it, though. Convenient. All right. And then we have the finesse expansion. So this was the new expansion. This is what the actual, I think, Kickstarter was for. The last Kickstarter is for this one here. This is this is the fun part right here. Look at that. These big, chunky coins. And these have got some weight to them, too. You can, whoops, I didn't really need to get all that many. <laughs> uh, but they remind me of a, it's a credit, right? Because you got to think, this is this is a playoff of Tetris, so it's a playoff of video games. So these are like your coin credits that you would put in the arcade machine. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they, they're, they definitely make a nice clankety-clank sound. We will throw all of you guys back in your bag. Maybe, maybe. Might all fit. There we go. Stand up. I had to convince them. Right? Now this at least doesn't have any tiles. So this just has these uh, finesse tiles, which add something to the game. Um, but yes, yeah, so you got A. So you got A, B, and C for each one of them. A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay. And then yeah. So we'll just. This is an A, B, and a C. We need an A, B, and a C. There we go. A, B, and a C. So, there we go. So, here are your finesse tiles, which 
as I've not read the rules, I don't know what technically you're supposed to do with your finesse tiles. But yeah. All right, so let's see. Let's see with, with the insert. We're gonna try with the insert first. I really don't think this is gonna do what I want it to do. Uh, because these finesse tiles are another conundrum to work around. All right, so let's see. With the current insert, so maybe if you do them this way. Oh, that kind of works. What was that? That was the black, black entry. Here's all the black ones. So that almost fits. That almost fits there. And the problem is now I'm mixing my... Now I'm mixing my ghost with my non-ghost. Uh, so the... Okay, so the non-ghosts don't have any arrows. Let's see if I can fix this. That way I'm not screwing this up and we need to actually play this. All right, so we'll do ghost. we we'll put ghost down here. Ghost. 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 Okay. So here's all the ghost ones. And we have the rest of the ghost ones. So those fit. Those fit nicely there. Let's see here. And if we take, so can we use these as like a divider? Or are they too tall? Uh, they're too tall. Mm, and they don't really fit really well that way. So maybe we can put all these guys down here on the bottom. Yeah, that works. So put all these guys down here on the bottom. Put these guys there. Question is where? Whoa! <laughs> I'm losing. I'm losing bits. All right, where can I put all the bits though? The bits were supposed to go in the big, big compartment. I don't think I'm going to be able to get these to lay. No, that's definitely, definitely not fitting in there. <coughs> what about I spread it out a little bit? No, still not fitting. Uh, it would fit with some lid lift. I don't know if I want lid lift. I don't know if I want lid lift. Let's see. Let's squeeze these out. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so here, how much how much lid left? So not bad on this side, but that's not the side with the pieces. This is the side with pieces. No, not bad on that side either, actually. Really. So yeah, it can all fit. It's not the most convenient way to get it all in there, but I technically got it all in with the actual insert, and that's what most people were concerned about is leaving it in with the insert. If you guys know a better way to put that in the uh, box, make sure you let everybody know down in the comments. But there we go, guys. That is Project L. Um, I'm gonna put it backwards. You don't see this slide. Don't, don't worry, it's backwards. Uh, Project L with both expansions in one box uh, unboxing. If you wanna see this gameplay, because of course we do these unboxings right before, I do these unboxings right before we do our gameplay during the week, make sure you hit that subscribe button to know when we go live. And if you're technically watching it, there should be a scheduled video that you can go hit reminder. That way you know when we go live as well. But until next time, guys. Peace.